America badly needs police reform. A series of lies on the part of Senate Republicans and bad faith negotiations led by Senator Tim Scott ultimately stall the George Floyd Justice and Policing Act. Since there is no reform, the system relies upon the so-called good cops to police the police. On November 19th, that's precisely what happened in Sunrise, Florida. A female cop with a little over two years of experience on the job tried to calm down a steroids juiced up hothead colleague. His reaction left us shocked, but not surprised. We have all seen plenty of police body worn camera videos, but not quite like this. What started as an arrest ended with a sergeant putting his hands on the neck of one of his own officers. It's behavior the police chief calls disgusting. A Sunrise Police Sergeant, Christopher Police, with over 21 years on the job, is currently off the streets and under investigation. Officer Police was taking a black suspect into custody. The suspect was already in handcuffs and placed inside the back of the police cruiser, but Officer Hothead was still engaging the subject in petty talk and pulled out his pepper spray to blast the handcuffed suspect. That's when this good young cop steps up to de-escalate the situation by pulling Officer Hothead away by the back of the waist of his pants. That's when he did the unthinkable. Sunrise Police released this body camera video to seven investigates after a tip led us to ask about a November 19th incident. Citing an ongoing internal affairs investigation, the department turned off the sound and obscured almost all the faces, except for one, Sergeant Christopher Police. When he went up and put his hand on her throat, what was your reaction? I, I, I find this behavior to be uh, disgusting. Um, I think the video speaks for itself. Just a minute earlier, the body cam shows a man being walked by officers to a patrol car. He was being arrested for aggravated battery after police say he hit people outside this convenience store. The man under arrest is already in handcuffs, but officers appear to be having difficulty getting him into the car. Around that time, Sergeant Police pulls up and walks up to the suspect. Sunrise Police Chief Anthony Rosa says he could not tell us what the sergeant said, but says it made the situation worse. I find it to be the inappropriate and unprofessional. Um, it, what he did is he escalated the situation when calm was actually required. You see the cuffed man back away in the back seat as Sergeant Police leans into the car. And we saw that he had pepper spray in his hand. Was he threatening to use that on the cuffed suspect? Uh, so this, the pepper spray was out and uh, aimed at the suspect. Suddenly, an officer races towards the sergeant and pulls him by the belt with both hands away from the car. Sergeant Police, pepper spray still in one hand, grabs the officer with the other and pushes her against a patrol car. The initial uh, contact between the sergeant and the officer was his hand uh, against her throat. Watch again from both camera angles. It's quick, but the sergeant's hand is at her neck before moving to her shoulder. Seconds later, he walks back to the car with the cuffed suspect, opens the door and closes it before pointing at the officer and saying something. Chief Rosa says the young officer did the right thing. So I, I'm very proud of this police officer. She took some definitive action. I can only imagine what she must be feeling. She's a, a newer officer officer and he's a very senior sergeant. Just how new? The 28 year old officer who we are not naming has been with Sunrise Police for just over two and a half years. Compare that to 46 year old Sergeant Christopher Police, a 21 year plus veteran of the force. If one of us had ever grabbed an officer by the throat, we would be arrested. We would be put in jail. Why is that not happening with him? So uh, this, there's some details of the investigation uh, that I've not disclosed that I'm unable to disclose right now. And if any of the information that comes up during the investigation rises to a, a level of criminal behavior or criminal conduct, then, then we'll address it appropriately. There is a new state law requiring departments train officers on their duty to intervene if they see another officer using excessive force. Chief Rosa says Sunrise already has policies requiring intervening and de-escalation. This officer intervening and stopping a situation from getting any worse is a direct reflection of the training that we do do with the police department. And I think that uh, it's important to note that the behavior is very unacceptable by the sergeant. 
But the behavior of the officer that intervened is exactly what society is asking their police officers to do right now. And while the department does realize the public is going to want to see and hear all of the video for themselves, the chief offers this. I'm not releasing the audio at this moment in time. However, once the investigation is done, I am committed to being completely open and transparent and everything will be uh, released. Notice all the other good cops standing and none rushed to the assistance of the female cop. This wasn't the first time a female cop in Florida had to step in to stop a hothead colleague from abusing someone. During the George Floyd protest in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, this female cop stops this officer who has a long history of complaints of violent and abusive behavior from abusing a protester. Due to a series of violations, they eventually fired him. This video became public knowledge because of a tip sent to WSNV 7 News, which led them to ask about the November 19th, 2021 incident. We thank this unidentified young cop for doing the right thing, bucking the blue wall of silence. And just like a soldier, I keep on moving forward, always getting closer, I'm marching till it's over, and just like a soldier.